welcome to all for online course of a plastic product design and advanced cut here as we already covered all syllabus of our course in a last video so in this video we are going to introduce all the automobile domains and important product designs in automobile sector so as in the last lecture we had taken the different domains like mechanical electrical electronics mechatronics and computing so as a, as a design engineer we are moving or we are focusing on a thermal structural static dynamic mechanism advanced material and tolerance and analysis those engineers who want to make their career as a design engineer in automobile sector then there are few important domains in a design first one is a structure or a body that is the BIW and BIW fixture design another one is a transmission system third one that is the most technically vast and important domain of any automobile that is the engine and auto components third one is a thermal management or HVAC domain interior exterior sitting plastic wire harnessing tubing and piping etc so let's discuss about the structural domain that is the body uh, BIW and BIW fixture design so a structure domain of an automobile includes the product design like design of a chassis of vehicles then uh, body in white structural designs then supportive frames of a automobile etc this domain is related to the metals and their product so the selection of a good metal is most important which having sufficient strength load carrying capacity and should be withstand against the vibrations so as per today's requirement of any automobile that your your structure should be a lighter in a weight so lighter in a weight are some challenges in this domain so BIW that is the body in white so it is most important domains or we can say product of any automobile the body in white uh, it is nothing but the welded sheet metal components of your automobile mostly it is made up of a different materials like aluminium aluminium and magnesium alloy castings then composites steel etc the BIW term before painting the structure and moving parts like doors handles fenders the engine chassis sub assemblies and trims like glasses seat electronic components etc have been assembled in the frame structure the appearance of the car body after it is dipped into the white bath of a primer so it is named or a term as a body in white so normally BIW product contain sub assemblies like hood frame and structure then floor and other panels longitudinal beam floor fenders rocker then at the top uh, side the roof uh, sheet metal panels then trunk frame and panels then tunnel rear side panels and fenders a pillar b pillar c pillar of your vehicle which are most supportive parts of your automobile their doors etc so as the blue um, as the blue indicators which indicates the exterior parts uh, it is nothing but the class A closures and the structural components are indicated by the dark black color. As you can see in the image, the BIW structural welding lineup in uh, any automobile companies, and in second image, you can see uh, the roof panel and uh, other sheet metal components are get welded on a BIW structure by using the robotic welding. The next important domain that is the engine and transmission system. So this domain is includes the different product likes. Um, so next important domain of your automobile that is the engine and transmission system. This domain includes the different product and auto components, the power transmission components like clutch, gearbox, propeller shaft, universal joint, final drives, differentials, front and rear axles, wheels, etc. So this dome is technically vast and need a deep practice knowledge, technical knowledge, testing knowledge for any design engineer who want to make their career in an engine domain. So as we know that the engine will create the tremendous amount of a power and by using the transmission system 
uh, like the clutch uh, the flywheel gearbox it transmitted to the rear axle uh, differentials by using the transmission rod all those are connected or linked by the different joints like universal and finally vehicle tends to move so uh, this is nothing but uh, the introduction to the engine and transmission domain so next one is the thermal management the thermal management is the second largest vast technically strong domain in automobile basically this domain is divided into two group first one is the passenger comfort so that is nothing but the hvac domain and second one is the engine thermal management so engine cooling domain so let's talk about the hvac so you can see the image of a hvac that is the h for heating ventilation air conditioning system this domain deals to the comfort of the passenger in the vehicle and to achieve this requirement the ac unit is mounted below the dashboard of your vehicle to provide the cooling inside the cabin for your vehicle in a summer or we can say if the atmospheric temperature is high then we are going to on the ac to take the cooling or a chilling effect and um, vice versa if uh, in a uh, th- thunder or in a rainy season we require the warming to your cabin so the ac unit or hvac unit is used before the few years the ac cars are nothing but the luxurious one but nowadays as per bs4 and bs6 norms ventilation is a compulsory must a but ac requirement is um, is but the primary requirement of your customers so hvac unit that is the heating ventilation and air conditioning which works on a refrigerant cycle um, simply compressions Uh, compression condensation then uh, thermal walls th- thermal expansion etc uh, now let's talk about the components at uh, as shown in the image uh, there are some as shown in the image uh, there are some standard components like compressor condenser expansion wall or you can say the txv that is the thermal expansion wall and at the right side you can see the total ac unit which is made up of a lot of plastic so that this is the domain where we are focusing uh, as the product plastic product design so ac unit uh, which includes the component like blower blower housing it is a plastic component then evaporator uh, which gives the cooling effect then to close this components there is a evaporator housing this is nothing but the plastic component then distribution chamber so whatever the air or whatever the cooled air Uh, by, uh, uh through the evaporator and by using the blower so this force air is get distributed inside the cabin by using different uh, ducts so and uh, requirement of the uh, of the passengers so like face mode face foot mode foot mode foot defrost mode and defrost mode so whatever the air uh, it may be cooled or it may be warm air get distributed through the distribution chamber and it is also made up of plastic then heater unit then air filter actuator doors some controllers and uh, electrical components like thermocouple or a thermistor then blower speed relay and another sensors so we'll uh, take a detailed lecture uh, on hvac or a thermal um, thermal management in the next video but this is just uh, an introduction to the different domains of your automobile so uh, inside temperature of the cabin get maintained by using the ac unit it means human comfort get managed thermally but what about the engine thermal management is it necessary of a engine cooling system for your vehicle yes it is required as we know that engine develops tremendous amount of a heat energy and as per the right hand rule or one third rule of a engine power whatever the power or heat generated by the engine get divided into the three forms one third of energy or a power it is used to displace the vehicle it means only 33% of energy among 100% is used to do the work done another one third of energy or heat leaves outside the vehicle in the form of the combustion gases by using the emission system of your vehicle so what about the remaining one third of energy so this remaining energy or we can say the heat 
it get transmitted by the engine to other component that is the heat heat or a temperature get transmitted by the combustion chamber to the cylinder walls engine casings and other component so this tremendous amount of a heat energy chamber to the other components then there may be chance to damage due to the high temperature so to avoid this engine require the cooling for cooling the engine a typical product that is radiator is developed a radiator is a tube fin like structure a coolant flows through the tubes it is nothing but a heat exchanger and it carries the heat from the engine by using the coolant coolant is nothing but water plus glycol mixture and it radiates into the environment the mounting of your radiator unit is at the frontal area of your vehicle below the bonnet at engine compartment so now what about the radiator function the basic function of a radiator to cool and maintain the engine temperature so normally 80 80 degrees celsius to the 82 degrees celsius is a best working temperature for your engine if the temperature below 82 degrees celsius then some parts um, then some parts like cylinder walls some uh, pistons are get start to wear so it is most important to maintain the temperature however the engine running continuously in a cold condition it affects the lubrication of other engine parts so this results into the higher friction losses and reduce the brake horsepower from picture we can see the engine cooling system so to cool the water plus glycol mixture that is the to cool the coolant we required forced air so while vehicle is in a moving condition we get a forced air but what about when vehicle is in a steady condition or we can say vehicle in a traffic mode so the force to force the air the fan is implemented in a radiator unit so this forced air is allowed to strike on a radiator tube and fins so radiator will exchange the heat and air cools the water plus glycol mixture which is inside the tubes other than radiator there are number of a parts or a number of a components used for in for an engine cooling so uh, some of them like a water pump so water pump is used to circulate the water plus glycol mixture throughout the system the tank and reservoir so this uh, this is nothing but an expansion tank and it also act as a reservoir for the cap and chair wall so to maintain the system pressure this pressure cap is used then the engine uh, the engine and radiator get connected by each other by using the different rubber hoses so from figure you can see the black tubing and piping uh, which is nothing but made up of a rubber for easy routing at the top right side of the image we can see heater is also available so um, as we know that heater is going to used in a hvac unit to warm the cabin it's the heating coolant so same radiator coolant is used in the heater so guys as we discussed in this video some few important domains like structure domain then thermal domain so guys we'll discuss the remaining domains that is most important interior exterior seating plastic domains in a next next video so guys please connect subscribe the channel if you are not subscribed yet and hit the bell icon to connect with us thank you guys